Hello, my Cancer Collective. I am here today to give you your message of the week. Thank you for your likes, subscribes, follow, shares, and comments. Um, they have been a blessing to me and a blessing to this channel. If you're interested in a consultation with me, the only way to do so is through my website. The description part below has a link to that. Just a reminder that if for the month of October, all my services are at 50% off and take advantage of it while you can. So today this message is for all my cancers that are spiritual warriors. This is for those ones that are actually doing the work to be able to move forward, to advance, and to create the life that they want. Uh, not for karmics, not for narcissists, not for low frequency people or those that are always a victim to a story. So we are fighters. And so that's what we're working with. Where I'm going to use in this oracle deck that is for animals for you first cancer to find out where your energy is at. And then I'll do the rest. And it's interesting because right now we have the B and it says productivity. It says, it is a time to examine your productivity. Disorganization and indecision may be causing you to miss opportunities. Take a moment to prioritize your goals and get a clear view on how to get where you want to go and what it will take to get there. Um, that's that card. That's interesting because... <laughs> oh, sorry. I feel like I'm clearing out something in my nose. And that's interesting because that's all your sinuses. So your third eye, your ability to see something, everything has a reason for what I do it. Um, but the other thing that's interesting is that I woke up today with this desire of I got to get my ass on doing things that I need to do. Right. And this is kind of that um, energy too. Also, I have another tarot deck um, that has bees in it. And the card says, um connections and it's like you know how the bees busy bee pollinate from flower to flower so it's talking about um mixing it up a little bit with the people that you connect to to that would also help with that productivity thing um but because that came to mind i have to mention it so let's get more information on this what is it that you want to tell my cancers why are you showing this to them hmm this is interesting because the first thing I get is the page of cups that's followed by the um, lovers, the ace of swords and the queen of wands, you know, okay. So there's two of every single um, card in this because I'm, I mix together two tarot decks. Okay. And one lover's card, there's a, the man is, um, the woman is thrown on the floor. The man is bending over to pick her up. On this case, it's like, um, it feels more like the energy of the snake is leaving. Because if you see in the bottom here, there's a snake and it's leaving them, right? So envy, gluttony, um, like competitive is kind of leaving and giving, and there's this, this energy of sharing. Um the Page of Cups is saying something is kind of out of nowhere dropping in your shoulders. And I feel like what is dropping in your shoulders is this energy of um, camaraderie. Uh, I'm, I'm saying it slow because I have a really hard time saying that word. Um, my tongue doesn't like it. Um, so it feels like helping each other. And then the thing is that the Ace of Swords here, it's the before tarot. So the crown isn't in the head. The um, Laurel Reef is not around there. And the, the um, arrow is stuck. And that reminds me of the Sword of the Stone. And that talks about um, being stuck in the world and not being able to be connected to the heavenly realms. And what I'm feeling is this energy of Someone or something just popping into your life, Cancer, that gives you an under opportunity to get stuck, um, unstuck, sorry, um, unstuck in this stuck energy you feel yourself in. And it feels like the world, you know, like this is just the way the world is. Um, that energy, that is the thing that's going to get you unstuck. But I do feel like the pollinators, um, the, the bee pollinating, trying different people, different environments will help you a lot. Um, and then it's saying to start getting, I mean, doing something because sometimes you get a little bit scattered, which is totally natural, especially with the energies I've been around. Um, 
so that you can get on this. And then it feels your the energy they want you to embody is this energy of the Queen of Wands, which is kind of like, I got this shit. I can do it on my own. But at the same time, they're saying, but then find um, op open up to find new people. Um, yeah. And then this is interesting because I got the Eight of Wands with the Four of Swords that came out afterwards. And the nine of wands. And this is the first time I ever got this, this energy from this one. And do you see how there's a salamander, but it's like smoke, right? Um, it, and salamanders is fire, fire magic, right? And it feels like, um, if you get yourself in that mindset, I'm going to do this, I'm going to move forward, I'm going to connect to different people, I'm going to connect to different resources, I'm going to do different things, um, you're going to realize that the thing that has been blocking you is all the smoke and mirrors. I heard smoke and mirrors. It's um, a facade that you might have created to give yourself an excuse not of the reason why you haven't been able to move forward. And this is totally normal. Again, it's not a criticism, but it does feel like... Um, You've been self-sabotaging. Um, and what I'm seeing here is you put it to rest. And the reason why you put it to rest is because, yet again, I see somebody helping you stay strong in that decision that you have to move forward. Because the Nine of Wands for me, um, personally, is a card of sticking your guns you know, like everything is going to make you want to be like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I can't do this. I'm tired. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. And, and you have to have that inner, like strength of will to confront something. But this, in this case, it feels like the way you will do it is through somebody else's help with that. You can't do this on your own. So I do feel like I don't know if it's a life coach, if it's a spiritual leader, if it's a counselor, if it's um, a doctor, if it's a personal trainer, if it's whatever it is, but you need like a second person in this goal that you have going forward. And then you'll realize that you've been self-sabotaging and like you'll realize that um, that you've created like a persona or an energy or an entity that's supposedly blocking you, but it's because you've been doing it. Um, and then I'm feeling that as you walk away to your new reality, because this person back here is you, um, what you left behind is just a whole mess of like empty cups. And, and I feel like people are going to try to see if, if they can get something out of what you left behind. Um, and that's natural. Because, you know, somebody always tries to be like, well, that guy was stupid. He left this. Um, I bet I can do something with it. And then they're going to look. But the, everything is empty. You're not leaving really anything behind. So I don't know if it's um, ideas, concepts. Like, you know, sometimes we want to try something and we want to create something and it doesn't work out. So then you like walk away from it. And somebody's like, maybe I can do something with it. But really, no. Yeah, this... This feels like, no. In the long run, I think you're going to realize that, that where, wherever you were before, the mindset you were before, the things you were doing before really weren't going to give you what you wanted. Um, and then interesting enough, we got the eight again. We have the eight of swords. And this one is interesting because here you're more decisive. You have the energy of Sagittarius. And there is going to be a very interesting energy in Sagittarius happening soon. Where, let me check my notes real quick because I think that'll help a little bit. Um, mm, let's see. Yes, it will be after the full moon in Aries on the 16th, the 17th, the full moon in Aries, um, and then Venus gets out of Scorpio, which makes us kind of procrastinators and moves into Sagittarius. So I am seeing like a movement possibly happening by, what day of the week is that? This, 
the 17th is Thursday, like Thursday of next week. Um, but you have to make the choice now. And yet again, we get the four of um, swords, which is putting something to and rest. Actually, we have 84, 84. Wait a second. 84 must be important. Somebody's year of birth can be 84. Um, somebody can be 48. Um, and it's interesting because in this four of swords, do you see how he's laying down, but the window is open when it's normally closed and the butterflies are coming in and there's one, two, three, four, five. That is the transformation and the number of change. Hmm. And it's also the Hierophant, which makes me think of it was God's will. Let me look up what 84 is because I saw it twice here. It says 84, the angel of forgiveness and drawing close. I mean, are the angels of forgiveness are drawing close to help you release past situations and embrace the lesson within them. Shut up. I told you it, it feels like um, that's 84 just for anybody that needs to see that. Um, it feels like this energy of um, you created a monster in your mind, right? Um, a mindset, a limiting belief system. It doesn't matter how you want to call it, right? And that thing has been blocking you this entire time. And then like, ploop, something falls in your shoulders. And I do feel like it's that full moon in Aries moving um, and shifting the energy from the Venus in Scorpio to the Venus in Sagittarius that literally like transforms you and gets you unstuck. This is a really nice energy, um, Cancer. And the bottom, shut up. I just have to shut up it. Look at this. The moon and the king of pentacles. And it's like the moon brings you the pentacles for you to get more stable, secure, and balanced. Gets in that energy of like a determined Taurus energy of bulldozing the things that you are, that have been holding you back. And then it's like, and now I'm going to tend to my garden that I have had the 10 of cups, but I haven't seen it in the way that I wanted to see it. So now I'm going to actually clean it up so it becomes what I want. And that movement brings an end to the sadness and brings forth the transformation that you want with temperance and the nine of cups because you're starting to take care and fill up your own cup it's like i'm no longer going to sit in wishful thinking like sitting here um magic genie on the wall bring me what i want right now um that is what's leaving and what's coming into fruition is like i request something but now i have to do it and um and I need to stand firm in that doing of this thing, putting to rest all these mindsets and these excuses that I have given to myself of why I can't do something or why I have limited myself. So this feels really good. Cancers, um, very positive movement forward. I hope you enjoy the message and we'll see you the next time.